What's going on guys, JFC here. We continue to get just huge news regarding EAFC right now. New additions, new cards, and honestly, it all looks pretty good. I'll be honest, it looks pretty exciting. So we're gonna get into all that. By the way, vote in the poll I just uploaded on my community tab for uh, the next video I'm gonna upload regarding gameplay. I wanna know what you guys want more. So go vote in that. Toss player back in this video, tradable. We'll see what we can get. And thank you for watching every day. Like, I probably say it too much, but seriously, thank you. I was gonna go into SPCs, but I just realized like nothing came out today for SPCs. It's all in the objectives. We can look at these level up teams two cards it actually is a pretty good level up team i think it's better than the last one 98 goretzka is nuts 97 veron i mean these cards are insane obviously you guys know that i think two many is probably one of the best ones to get honestly two of many is a demon in fifa like this guy's body type in games insane his ones to watch card for like the first like two or three months of the game was crazy and yeah five five darwin nunez is insane but the one thing i want to talk about here that is probably going to be a thing for eafc and that is this raul jimenez level up card you complete it it says one of three action shot raul jimenez so you can kind of like i I think it's choose a dynamic image i'm pretty sure on the card which i think is pretty cool honestly i know people might say that that's just like you know a minor addition and you're a nerd if you get hyped up about that um but honestly i think it's pretty cool i think the more customization the better as long as it's not like more challenging because there's more options to it but the fact that you can choose an image it just makes it a little more immersive right it's your team and you can choose what you want and i think that's cool if you guys don't want to deal with trading at all you guys can go to the link in my description go to u7buy.com they're a fast and very very reliable coin service the five percent tax is also covered you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount thank you to u7 buy for sponsoring the video now let's get back to it all right we got a ton to talk about here let's begin with one of the heroes that has been confirmed to be coming that is arsenal legend and wonkwo kanu will be added as a hero in ea sports fc now if you guys don't know he is six foot six so we're gonna have a six foot six guy with probably some pretty decent stats in the next game i actually think they've done a pretty good job this year in making the taller players better yeah Yes, it can be a bit cheesy. I think we all know that. But I'm just happy that somebody like, you know, when you have these goalkeepers coming in, like a Petr Cech, who's six foot two, or six foot five guys like Holland, right, that are like very usable. I think that that's a good thing. So I think it's actually pretty exciting. The fact that we're going to get a six foot five player, probably Premier League links. It's pretty cool. And this is huge news, honestly. It is a problem that has plagued FIFA that for whatever reason has like never been fixed. I never understood why this was like, this had to be a thing, basically. We will be able to pack more than one version of the same player in a single pack, which probably probably means that Team of the Week players can feature in the promo team or something like that. Not sure if it will work for the whole game or only for some specific promos. I hope it's for the whole game. I'm assuming if they would do it for certain promos, they would do it for the whole game. But it's never made sense to me that you could only pack one version of a card. I don't get the point in that. I never quite understood that. Sure, they couldn't code it right, and that's why it never changed, but no, I think it's about time. And honestly, this is kind of like the best guess at a card design, really. I think their goal with these cards is to make the dynamic images just better, or more the focus of the card rather than the stats. I believe that's kind of what their goal is. This person says it's going to pack four Zola layers in one pack yeah I, I don't think it's gonna be literally like you can pack multiple gold cards in the same pack like you can't pack in your 100k pack have three Zola layers three john stones and two iago Ospasses. like i think it's just one version of each card does that make sense so in case you guys missed this cross play is confirmed to be coming to pro clubs and eafc apparently it's going to be in every single game mode like division rivals and co-op and all of that stuff it's going to be in literally everything which is you know i want to say it's a huge w and it is, but they should have been that should have been a thing last year. So I'm not even gonna give them credit really for this one. The fact that we finally get crossplay now, they're like one of the last sports games to actually give us crossplay. First person camera mode is coming in EAFC. Uh, okay, yeah, I was kind of wondering why they showed this first person shot in the trailer because it was always kind of weird, right? You know, they showed that Erling Holland little clip where he was in like first person, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. But apparently that's gonna be a thing. I, I that's kind of crazy. The pro camera, if you don't know if you play player career or whatever where you use the pro camera camera it's like locked at 30 fps it's terrible that needs to the pro camera's ass it needs to be improved i think there's mods on pc to actually like be able to use it in 60 fps and it's usable but the 30 fps locked pro camera is just terrible i'm pretty sure first person is going to be bad too but it's just something you know fun to add i appreciate like them adding things like that so starting to get confirmation on leagues as well when you look at this whole list there's not really anything new here apart from a couple so if you want to pause and look at the whole thing you can but there's a second k league um okay i don't know why that's coming there's more 
bronze players, I suppose. Everything else here, I believe we've already had. Um, yeah, literally all of it. And obviously we have the new women's leagues as well, like the Premier League for the Women's League, the La Liga Women's League, and the Bundesliga Women's League as well. We've got uh, great news here. Honestly, this is some great news. Some just some quality of life improvements, right? But they mean a lot. Uh, claim all objectives button. Finally. All right, finally. This has been years overdue. Change positions without a modifier is huge as well. People probably spent hundreds of thousands of coins on position modifiers this year. Certain people probably did. Uh, so that's another fantastic change there. Only sad thing is for us traders who did that earlier in the year, if you're an OG of the channel, you know, we probably made millions in the beginning of the year on position modifier trading. It was so overpowered and that won't be a thing next year, but oh well. And the new chemistry for icons is huge as well. Icon chemistry this year was broken. It was shit. Uh, so that's huge to see. Also, all now confirmed as well. There's no doubt about any of those changes. We've got a couple career mode things here that you career mode fans will really, really like. Uh, you will attend end of season awards ceremonies in career mode, Road to Ballon d'Or. So apparently there's gonna be a lot more cutscenes revolving around the player awards, which is kind of cool. Even like a little 20 second, 30 second cutscene of whoever wins it, you know, having a little ceremony for them. Because if you have a player in your team that wins it, it means that little bit more, right? I think it's kind of cool. Now let us keep track of them. Show the Ballon d'Or winners for the last five years. If it's 2026 in your career mode, let's have a way for us to see the Ballon d'Or winners every single year. Keep track of stats across years. That's a huge addition to FIFA that we do not have right now. That, that needs to be a thing. Stat tracking across years needs to be in career mode. We've never seen it. Please EA that there's not really, it can't be that difficult, right? It really can't be. Here's an interesting one. You can celebrate trophies in career mode with a customizable bus trophy parade? I, uh, that's kind of insane. I'm assuming it's gonna be just like a little cutscene, right? Nothing too crazy, but a customizable bus is, is hilarious. And that's a cool addition either way, whether it's like a 20 second thing or it's a longer thing than that. But cool, have it, have us win things and have it mean something, right? That's kind of what we want as career mode fans out there. The more meaning that, you know, winning has and the more immersion that there is, is just the better. Apparently we're also going to get spectate mode coming to EAFC manager career mode. This is another feature that needed to be in the game a long time ago, but uh, at least we're getting it now and it's huge for everybody. Everybody has wanted to hop into a game and just watch it. You could be the manager, right? You are in career mode and you're supposed to be the manager and you haven't been able to watch the game in front of you play out. It's always been so odd. So Ultimate Team will have the same chemistry as FIFA 23. Icons have more ways to boost your chemistry. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another way or two as well to boost your chemistry. I saw a rumor earlier in the year, I think Sheriff tweeted it out, that you might be able to use like one wild card or something like that. There's also going to be like player traits, possibly like the player styles, right? There might be one that revolves around chemistry. I think there's going to be more ways to like deal with the chemistry system. I think that the chemistry system is a good idea. Um, on paper, there's just a couple flaws to it that are pretty glaring, but I think it's still a, a bit of an improvement on last year's in certain areas. So I think that if you can kind of get the happy medium between this year's and last year's, it's a good idea. So here we go with the upcoming deep dives. This is like the schedule that EA put out here in July. We have gameplay and career mode. The day these drop, we're gonna have videos immediately as fast as we possibly can on the channel discussing all these things. These are two of the things I'm really curious about, gameplay and career mode. I know we cover Ultimate Team on the channel a lot, but gameplay is honestly, like we know Ultimate Team is gonna be good. This is their money maker. It's a billion dollar thing. There's no way it's gonna like suck. The gameplay is what could suck and ruin it in my opinion. And in career mode, like we have a lot of rumors on big additions. So I'm very curious about these two. Match day experience is interesting. That's a one by itself. That's very interesting. Obviously ultimate team and then clubs has its own. Can you see that? Enough my face cams in the way. The so clubs has the same amount of a deep dive as ultimate team does. So like, you know, we have rumors about clubs and I'll show you them right now. And I don't know why I said rumors or not rumors they are confirmed by EA. Literally, they said there will be playoffs in clubs. Play styles as well will be introduced to clubs and more customization than ever. So apparently this is what Nikki said in April. So he said that there will be five weeks weeks of normal league matches and one week of playoff matches. I don't know exactly what that means. There will be a seasonal competition mode like Rivals. Elite will be the higher division. So they're adding more stuff to pro clubs too. And you know what? I wouldn't be shocked this year if they put more effort into things that they never had before because they're worried about the fact that they lost their IP and this game sales might not be as high. And if the war gets around and it's like one of the best games or best FIFAs yet, then obviously they have nothing to worry about, right? It's a very important year for them. I'm actually shocked to see a lot of changes to every mode. I think they really you know, no, they need to do that. They can't just keep the game the exact same while losing their IP, I don't think. 
of course. We have to get the game to find this stuff out. The game could suck, all right? We don't know. Here's that paragraph about quality of life improvements. And there's one more sentence here that I didn't really say. So also it says navigate more seamlessly between features. So I don't know what that means. Maybe you don't have to like go out of division rivals to go to the transfer market or something like that, right? I'm not too sure, but apparently there'll be more quality of life improvements that are not just the ones that we talked about. Now back to FIFA 23. Yes, we still have a game that we're playing right now. If you want to do the level up cards, what you want to do is not do them now. You do not want to buy cards now you're gonna want to wait really as long as you could even right now the team one level up cards died in price you can still do them so really the longer you wait the better for these like that's kind of what the strategy has seemed to be Werner's on a two something he was at six some six something for the entire promo literally as long as you can that's only advice i can give you and outside of that not much so are you guys excited for afc i actually kind of am i'll be honest i think it's hard not to be with all the information we've gotten revolving around the player evolutions and all these little improvements that seem to be really important that we've needed for a while. The gameplay is really going to make or break things. There was actually a little piece of gameplay leaked. I don't think I can show it. It was only like a few seconds, but it showed like stats that were on the field. Hard to explain, but we should get gameplay relatively soon. It looks mostly the same, so I won't, you know, say that it's too much different. Here we go. Tots player pack. It's not a moment. That's a W. Sweden. Striker. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Okay, subscribe if you're new. Love you all. See you soon. Peace.